Am I too late? My name is Vonda Jordan. Actually, I'm Wanda, but my parents call me Vonda. Geronimo! What are you doing? Well, basically, it's S&M, isn't it? The play? Venus and Fur is, is uh, based on an old German novel called Venus and Furs by Leopold von Sacher Masak. And uh, the play is about a, um, a man who's adapted the book into a play and wants to, um, wants to put it up. And he's looking for an actress who can play the erotic part in the play. She comes into audition, she is absolutely, totally, utterly wrong, and yet in some weird, bizarre, erotic way, totally right. Because there's no reader here to read with her, he has to read with her and read his own words. And, and in reading his own words, he starts to, to discover some things about himself that he didn't quite know were there, that seemingly Vonda knew were there. David makes this wonderful turn where what's happening in the novella not only parallels, but seems to morph into what's happening in the room. And the dynamic, which is uh, suddenly an abstraction as they're rehearsing the play, becomes a reality in the moment. I loved the, the story. I loved the love that was involved in it. I loved um, how vivacious the character was. I loved, um, obviously, David Ives' words. I'll, I'll read anything a million times that he writes. I have to say that I am so blessed with um, Wes Bentley and Nina Arianda. Wes, of course, is a fantastic actor. He's a presence on screen, and I, I knew him from seeing him in the movies. I couldn't believe I was meeting him. And I have to say that when Nina Arianda stepped in the door, we had no idea that we were seeing fun what I think of as fundamentally Meryl Streep at 25. She has what I think is not only physical beauty, but she has the the sexiest thing I think you can have is spontaneity. And she has that in abundance. And that's a real star quality. We say to each other before each show, let's dance, because it's just us up there and we have the, um, basically we wanna, we wanna show them what, we've, what we're doing, let them, let them come in for the ride, but it's a real ride for us. You know, we discover a lot every night. It's incredibly sexy. That's, the, that's a big part of the fun is being able to experience that sensuality and kind of let that radiate in me while I'm working. And that's really, I love that part of it, yeah. Who doesn't like to be sexy for a while? I don't often sit through my own plays um, after they've kind of gotten on their feet, but this play I am still fascinated because it's always different every time and yet always has that same core of extraordinary heat coming from these two. It's a bunch of surprises. David has laid in a bunch of narrative surprises where you go, oh my God, oh my God, and you really don't see those turns coming. That's, I think, the craftsmanship of this great play, because at a certain point it begins, starts to behave like a mystery. It's, it's wonderful. That it's really a fun, fun audience every night. And we just have a good time. It's just 90 minutes of fun. I am not your countess aunt, I am I. Again with fire. What do you want from me, Thomas? I am not your countess aunt, I am I. What do you want? I don't know. Because I don't think we're talking about the play anymore. I just want more. But I'm not her. I'm just some stupid actress who walked in here looking for a job, and I am not your countess aunt, I am I. How's that? It's good. It's very good. <laughs>